My name is Jessica Lutz. I'm a wife, a mother, and a partner in ministry with my husband, who is a pastor. I'd like to tell you some of my journey and about a time when Christ revealed himself to me in a new way. I used to think of Christ as someone who was necessary for my salvation, as the one who saved me from my sins, and who in a vague way would make my life better, more full, and more meaningful. But so much of my life was still up to me and about me, about my ability, about my effort, and my performance. Much of the time, honestly, it did not seem that Christ was that big or that relevant. He began to reveal to me many facets of his incomparable character and love. God gave me a new lens to look at suffering and sin. With that lens and the furnace of my suffering, he gave me a view of just how deep and grievous and huge is my sin against his holiness. And the wonder of Christ my God coming down to make that horrible payment became very real and amazing to me. Philippians 2 says that Christ Jesus made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And he became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Christ is Lord. This had been familiar to me, but I remember one particular Good Friday service when the reality of Christ being exalted to the highest place took on new meaning for me. I was picturing Christ on the cross, being tortured, scorned, and mocked. And in the agony of the hatred and the attacks and the great load he was bearing for those who hurt him, including me, he said, Father, forgive them. God pierced my heart with love for him. He captured my heart. What humility, what highness, what immeasurable love, what strength and beauty. He is completely higher and greater than any other. There is no one else like him. He alone is worthy to be exalted, to reign and to rule. And isn't it a wonderful thing that he does? He is reigning and ruling and sitting on the throne, Lord of all. Now that I have had this glimpse of Christ, the purpose and goal of my life aligns with heaven. The purpose and motivation and unshakable hope in everything I do, in my serving, in my parenting, in my praying, in my waiting, is that Christ the King, the Glorious One, is reigning and ruling and coming, and everything will be made new and beautiful under His Kingship. If just a glimpse and a taste of Christ can give delight and hope and perseverance more than anything in this world, then I just wonder what it will be like to see him face to face before his throne. Now I invite you to take your next step on your Christ awakening journey by checking out the resources at ChristNow.com.